Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you and introduce you to this tool called SwiftGen. So for those of you who have heard of this but have not really used this, then you're in luck today because this tool is about to add really great value to your development workflow. All right, so let's try to understand what this tool is about and I'm going to show you how we can integrate that into your project and to use it. So SwiftGen, this is our GitHub page over here, not our, this is the GitHub page over here. And as you can see, uh, the star section, 8.2k star, so this is a really popular tool. And in short, SwiftGen is the Swift code generator for your assets, storyboard, localizable strings, um, get rid of all string-based APIs, okay? So in short, this is a tool that helps you to manage your constant files, your images, storyboards, and things like that, okay? So over here, the first thing you need to do is to install this tool into your Mac OS, and the way I did it is via Homebrew. I believe there are several methods to do it. Um, CocoaPods, Homebrew, Mint, Compile from Source. I'm not sure what that is, but I did it via Homebrew, and that was the easiest way. Okay, so I believe uh, you would know how to do something like this. Okay, so I have the instructions that I've written over here already, so that this is to assist me in uh, this video. So firstly, we install Swift Generator via Homebrew, and then we edit the YML config file. Okay, sorry, yeah, sorry, we generate the YML config file. So over here, let me show you the context of how we are going to use this tool, okay? So you may be very familiar with uh, something like this. You know, someone will create an enum here, constant, and then a static let, maybe title equals to home. And then over here, we do like a navigation item dot title equals to constant dot title. All right, so you may be uh, quite familiar with a pattern like that, you know, defining constant inside the view controller. All right, we have a home over here. Maybe let me just make this a bit bigger so that it's nicer and easier to see. So prefer large screen. Yeah, you might be familiar with doing something like that or, you know, in fact, uh, moving the constant uh, enum into a separate file, okay? And then uh, uh, this, this is a good practice, but one of the problems is that, you know, uh, as the project grows, you know, when more developers come in, this constant file can really just balloon up and it can be really messy and hard to maintain, you know, in six months time or in 12 months time. So this is where SwiftGen would really help in this regard. Okay, so over here, let's come back here. So uh, what we want to do, we want to install SwiftGen. Okay, so I've already installed mine already. So I trust that you can do this, do this by your own via homebrew or other means. Now let's generate the YML config file. So this is the command to do that, SwiftGen config.init so let me just copy this over here and let's open up terminal okay so let me just clear off this first and let's see where are we right now okay so i'm inside the blank project folder which is this one over here so we can do swiftgen config init so let's hit the enter button okay so immediately what happens is that it creates a swiftgen.yml file for us automatically and as you can see over here all the text over here is being commented out because this is a template and what we need to do is just to uncomment out those things that we need okay so what we need uh, in this in this video i'm going to show you how we can um, do, do this for strings as well as assets as well as uh, yeah, image assets. I won't be touching the storyboards part, okay? So uh, we can uncomment out this part over here, strings. Okay, and uh, you know what? In fact, I have uh, the template here already. So I'm just gonna copy mine and then just paste this over here and then I'll just explain what, the uh, what each line means, okay? So let me just paste this over here. So, and save it. So um, over here, this is the configuration for strings. We have to define an input as well as the output over here. So the input over here is this file here, which I don't have that yet. So I'm gonna create this right now, okay? So it's localizable.strings. Let's come over here and uh, do right click, new file, and let me search for strings. So this is the one that I want, and I'm gonna use the default name, which is localizable. Okay, so hit the create button. And then I have this um, file over here. Okay, so let's see what else do I need to do. Uh, sorry, let me just come back to the YML file. And then over here under the template name, this is by default structured-swift5. So I'm going to leave this alone. The output, this strings plus generated.swift is by default. Okay, but what I did over here is to just um, put that inside this blank project folder. All right. Okay, and then lastly, I define the parameter over here for the enum name to be S. So in case you're wondering what is this enum name, 
uh, over here, notice that the enum name is called constant. So basically, um, SwiftGen allows you to define what the enum name is. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go to the next step, and the next step is to run. Uh, let me see. Okay, so step two is to generate the file, which we did. Uh, we edited the YML file. Now we want to check for error and we use this command over here, right? So swiftgen config lint. So again, if you run this any of this swiftgen command and you don't see anything or you get an error, chances are you have not installed swiftgen correctly. So feel free to go back to the installation steps and try again. Okay, so now I'm going to run this command. And this command is going to tell me if I've made any uh, mistakes inside my YML file. So, so far, everything is looking good. Everything is green. That's fine. The, the last step I want to do is to generate the uh, generated files. So the command to do that is Swift Gen. So let's do that right now. So Swift Gen, hit the enter button. So notice that over here it says executing configuration file, swiftgen.yml. And then it says here file written blank project slash strings plus generated.swift. All right. So what? This means is that if I come to my project folder, uh, whoops, over here, and uh, if I come to my project folder and I come inside here, I will see that there is this new file that's being created called strings plus generated. Okay, so I'm gonna just bring that into the project and then hit the finish button. Okay, so if you can see over here, this is um, generated by SwiftGen. We don't really need to care what's inside. For the most part okay so how do we use this let's go to localizable and then maybe let's call this a uh, title okay and then this title let's call this home okay we can do it like that so we can define what our string con constants are inside this localizable strings file and then what we can do is to come uh, to terminal and do swift gen Okay, let's hit the enter button and then it says file written, executing configuration file. So what happens right now is that if I come to the strings plus generated, I'll notice that I have a new um, property over here that says title and then it says home. So what I can do right now is that rather than having a, a constant file defined inside the view controller, let me, let me just remove this, I can now do uh, s.title. All right, so let me just run this. And then um, you'll notice that I will have home as the title over here. Okay, so let's come here and let's maybe create a different one. So let's call this maybe a new title. New, oops, not new, new title. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Let's call this maybe um, settings. Okay, so let's um, come back to the terminal and do Swift Gen again. All right, so again, the key is new title. So let me come back to the view controller and I can do new title. Let's run this and I should see the word settings over here. All right, so I hope that this is helpful. So one, one other feature that I really like is that you can actually nest those uh, fields. All right, so let's assume that, you know, you can have something like, uh, you can do something like config dot uh, user dot change password, for example, password. Okay, so let's call this change password. Okay, so let's run Swift Gen. Okay, so now let's come to view controller and then we can do print, uh, what is it? Is it uh, config? Okay, so I can do s.config.user.change password. So let's print this out and let's see if we see that string change password being printed out yes we do so as you can see this is really powerful it's really neat okay so as more people write into this you know you can define like what is the top level the mid level and you know how you can nest those properties okay so now i'm done with the strings part i'm going to show you about the uh, image assets part okay so again we need to come back to the settings over here the yml um, file and then um, we have to uncomment out this one over here and again, I'm going to change this because I've already defined that over here already. So let me just copy this and just paste this over here. Okay, so what do we have? Again, we have to define the inputs and the output. So the input over here is the assets.xe assets, which is this guy over here. 
And then for the output, uh, most of this is actually generated by SwiftGen. The only change I did was to add uh, the blank project over here, as well as add the, uh, the enum name, which I define as i. So i is like image, okay? So let me save this and let's come over here and we can do, I think we can do the lintel as well. So again, everything is green, which is great. Okay, so um, next thing we want to do is to do Swift Gen. Okay, and that will create the uh, exe assets.generated file. So again, if I'm to come to my folder, um, I will see this exe plus generated file over here. So let me just bring that into the project. Just copy this in. Again, it looks really messy, but uh, we don't really need to know most of the things over here. What we need to do is to uh, bring in an asset. Okay, so I'm going to bring in cat. So this is a very simple image name, cat. So let's come back to terminal and let's do Swift Gen again. And this time, um, notice inside the XE assets plus generator, I should have a cat over here. Okay, so now what I want to do is to uh, maybe bring in a uh, bring in a image view to see how we can actually set the image view with uh, Swift Gen. Okay, so let's do it this way with and height. And let's pin this in the middle. All right. So the last thing we need to do is to um, set the um, IB outlet. So let's call this image view. Okay, simple enough. So what we can do is I can do image view dot image equals to. Do you remember what the struct name is? It's i because i you know image dot. I can do cat dot image so let's do command r to build this on the uh, to run this on the simulator and hopefully we will see the cat image over here all right so very simple very easy to use right okay now uh, for the final image over here let's imagine we have a colleague who likes to name his files really wacky and he has something like this dot space version space two dash modify okay so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this like a really extremely bad name again swift gen handles this very gracefully as well so now let's do swift gen okay so let's come over to xc assets plus generated and we should see doc version 2 modify okay really clean okay so yeah it, this is i think the original name okay again let's come back to view controller and then we can do i dot doc version 2 modified let's uh, dot image let's run this on the simulator and hopefully the doc image appears okay so let's see all right, so uh, yeah, so this is uh, all I have for you in this video. I hope that you find this uh, video useful and uh, do let me know what, what are the content that you wish to see from this channel and I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.